Hi, my name is Jean Bobish from A Stroke of Genius. Today I designed this little flip top box using uh, my Silhouette Cameo Designer Edition software. Um, I want to show you how you can turn this little box into something like this. Look at that. Wouldn't that make an awesome little Valentine treat for someone special? And guess what's even better? It holds two little snack cakes. These are little Debbie snack heart shape cakes. And I'm sure it would hold the squares. I'm thinking it might hold little peeps at Easter time or those little chocolate eggs. But anyway, this is the box and this is how I made it. I created the file, like I said, in my Silhouette Cameo. However, for those of you that don't have the Silhouette or don't have the Designer Edition, I also have a layout that's all worked out for you. This should, if you set your printer to actual size, this is the actual size uh, of the box. Now, for mine, I use double-sided paper. You don't have to, but I think it makes the, the inside look pretty, too. Um, and this is cardstock. And I already went and cut mine out using my Cameo. Now that it's all cut out, we're going to want to make all our crease lines. So I'm going to go in one direction first and crease them. Now in the silhouette file it will put little perforations in your paper which will help you to know where to fold them. And then we're going to do all the little tabs. Like so. Now, if you're doing this with directional paper, like I did with this box, um, when you cut it out, you want to make sure that the top of the box has the pattern going in the correct direction. This pattern paper, the hearts go both up and down, so it works perfectly. Um, now, like this one, you'd want to lay it out so that the hearts were in the proper viewing direction so that you won't um, you won't have your design being upside down. So I'm just going to finish creasing all of these. Now if you look at the layout, I have it marked I have it marked on the template, the top section and the bottom section. So when you do your diagonal paper or directional paper, you'll be able to make sure you get it going in the right way. Um, in the sill file, the smaller area is the lid and the, the larger area here is the box. So I'm going to get some double-sided tape here and I'm going to tape my flaps because these are going to get folded up like so to create the bottom of the box. So what we want to do is I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to get some of my tape and I'm going to place it on my flaps and trim. And in an effort to save time and not bore you to tears, I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these done off camera. Okay, I have all my tabs marked with my double-sided tape. And now, starting with the bottom, I'm going to pull off the backing here on the tape and line up my corners perfectly and press. And I will do the same on this side. All the little tabs fold in or, or 
or are on the inside of the box. You don't want them on the outside. Okay, and line it up. And there you go. Nice, clean, sharp edges. Now these middle, the middle tabs here, they will go towards the bottom. So make sure you're working on the bottom of the box. And you can tell because, like I said before, the bottom is wider than the top. So this goes to the bottom portion of the box. And again, we do the same thing. Remove our sticky tape. Oops, little things coming off. Just want the backing. Bring that in and pinch it. And there's the bottom of our box. Now the lid, you might want to crease it so it goes in both ways. It just makes it a little bit easier uh, to close it. Now for the lid, we're going to take our last two tabs. I'm having a double of a time with this tape today. Let's try this side. Okay. Now I put two pieces on here because I really want this to hold well. And there we go, pinch. And the same thing on this side. When I get there, we go. Now the tape's cooperating. Whoops. Okay, and there you have it, your little box, all ready to be embellished however you want. This particular one, I used um, Valentine paper that says love, 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 love all over it, and I used a doily die to glue my doily on top, and some leaves out of cardstock, and then I took some of these little ribbon roses that you can buy in the craft store and just hot glued them on the top and I think it makes it look so pretty I mean you could put bows you could put tags you could put any number of things on here that would make it just as lovely um, you could make them birthday themed Christmas themed Halloween themed um, whatever you want I have seven nieces and great nieces and nephews to make these for and um, they have to go through the mail. So I thought the little snack cakes were light. And like I said, they fit in the box cute. will fit in a nice box to ship. And hopefully they'll be really surprised and thrilled when they get theirs. So I hope you enjoyed this little video. And I hope you give my little boxes here a try. See you next time.